Hello, hello and welcome to episode 26 of Sephora Online. We are back online doing some Minecraft. I like to see Minecraft as a little bit of roleplay, a little bit of planning and optimization strategy, things like that, but mostly just a journey. A little inner journey. Because it's like art, I think. And art is always about the inner journey. Welcome. Welcome to my cave. This is the Jade Spire. This is also episode 26 of Let's Play Minecraft, season one. It's a beautiful night. It's a little bit of rain. It's a beautiful little cave here in the mountain. We're right here. I have a village to my south and a lovely horse looking uh, peninsula. Actually, there was a catastrophe recently that caused a lot of chaos in the region. And um, there's this isthmus was filled in by a collapsed section of cliff face. I guess, land, so I'm slowly trying to restore that, and I'm also getting rid of some of the loose stone that's on top of my mountain, so, yeah, a lot of, uh, you know, just maintenance type things. Let's see if I have any food. I do have some food. But I don't need any. Just enjoy a beautiful morning. Watch the skeletons burn. Ah. Alright. I'm not sure what I want to do. First. Let let's go do a little round of um. Oh, I know what I was also working on just the other day. Last time, I'm uh, moving my, or I was, moving my cows. I used to have some cows out here, and I recently tunneled through, tunneled through the mountain. And um, I was filling this stuff back in. This was a bit of a exploration. Um, experiment, but I was able to make it out to the rear, the uh, western, I should say, side with the bay. Now they're here living with the, living with the sheep. It's quite crowded actually for my taste, but they have a small barn area with a single feeding trough. It's not really that realistic. I should probably make a secondary pen, but I don't know. Done. I see cooking up some amenities, as it were. Amen amenable mending. Menemeningang? Not sure. Boop. There we go. Let's go ahead and just reset this whole system here. There we go. Alright. Yeah, I'll just go um, fix that section real quick. And maybe I'll 
keep working on the mountainous region since I'm here. Basically this section was bored out due to some you know midnight calculations that I probably shouldn't have been doing. Okay. Don't need that. going to close this off so that it's not so oops that was actually that might be better uh, I don't know I'm just trying to make it more <sighs> I don't know what I'm trying to make it I just don't like having loose ends you know so since this is an undesigned area that is no longer serving the original purpose, I would like to restore it, I guess. Okay, so then we turn... <gasps> oh! Dang. Okay. Well, maybe I'll restore this too. Alright. This must have been an area that was full of dirt or something. And who am I to completely shut it off? Okay, there we go. But I don't want to seal those forever. So it is what it is. All right, and uh, I'm running back this way. I don't want to do that. And so far, I've been trying to make things pretty well um, well designed, I guess you could say. But right now, I'm really relying on the strength of that fresh natural cut stone. I haven't seen any signs of cracking or stress coming out of the mountainside, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I don't, uh, really anticipate having to add too many supports. Not yet. You know, maybe if the rainy season comes, then I'll be a little more concerned with saturation and loading, but considering the fact that I'm already scraping off all of this, um, gravel... You know, the, if anything, the mountain should get lighter, so I'm not too worried about it. You know what I'm saying? No. no I'm saying. It's a pretty small opening. But I'll, I'll keep a lookout for signs of cracks. You know, cave-ins are never a good idea. buddy. So I built a little silo down at the bottom of the hill. It's not really tall yet. But the idea is, there it is, the idea is that in reality you'd push all of this stuff, you'd scoop it and just send it rolling down the hill and it would fall naturally into the pit that I made. Hey there. Huh? And, uh, yeah, I mean, you could probably do this from down here, but the likelihood of a catastrophic, fast-moving landslide crushing you would be too high. So I'm just rolling it down the hill and into these. Now in Minecraft, obviously, I'm not doing that. I'm just stuffing them and, you know, into here. But uh, building the structure regardless, so in theory it would fill up with gravel. And I've put clay and um, 
sand and actually a drainage system underground that leads to here so that if this fills up with water which I might create a system to do that but I can always count on there being a source of fresh water there you know living so close to the wide open ocean it may become beneficial at some point to have a non-salinated body body of water chilling somewhere oh and filtered obviously you know that's the main that's the main idea cuz obviously you know a pond would would have you know I could just m make a basin but um, to collect rainwater but this is actually filtered water so I think that'd be nice to have now usually I'm a big fan of keeping the natural landscape but since I'm treating this as like semi-realistic um, you know obviously this this rock here has eroded and will just continue to erode whatever's underneath it until eventually the entire mountain just disintegrates and falls into the sea. So, I'm actually intervening in a very long process, geological process, and intend to stop the degradation of this mountain by building structures on it that have water and possibly frost uh, prevention measures, still water, that is, and frost present prevention measures. <laughs> measures. So, since that is my intent to live on a mountain and not in the ocean, uh, I have to decide that I want to change this. And maybe not me, but certainly whoever comes after me will have to deal with the erosion issue and decide to either halt it or mitigate it or live with it. So I'm making that decision for them, whoever comes after. Ooh. All right, I think that's enough. Down the hill we go. Here's my roof. <gasps> oh, that was too much. Probably. I need to like make an easy way up and down. Uh. Eventually. For now, no. Oh my gosh. I see a golden. <gasps> oh no. I don't want to be on fire. But I also wanted my golden dude. Oh, there he is. Well, that didn't lead anywhere, so. Alright, I don't like having... Oops, sorry. I don't like having that... Splody boy. Huh. <gasps> ah! 
No. Ah. Uh, I don't know why I did that. I keep forgetting that I don't have any armor in this game. It was a little glitchy too, so I'll blame it on the glitch. But like, ah, uh, come on. Uh, I'm trying to just ignore those kinds of mistakes. It is what it is. I'm not really built for... I mean, this is also on hard. Ah, yes, the mustard. He can get to me, but he can't get to the mustard. Alright. One sand. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Coat goes on. I lost the boots. Let's just reorganize here just a little bit. I want that. I want this. I want these. That's going to go over here. That doesn't go anywhere. This goes down here. I always like to have my things in exactly the same spot each time. I don't know why. I just do. It's so that I can always like know where to look to find things to like take stock of my situation. I think. And there's a little bit of variance, you know, I I say exactly the same spot, but it's not exactly the same spot. But it kind of is. It's it's pretty close. So yeah. There we go. Something like that, probably. I don't know. This center section sees a lot of variants, so. Okay. Heat it up. Let's go. Now, I don't have a ton of metal just yet. I do actually have a ton of metal, but it's not for sale. Oh! <gasps> Oh, there's that glitching. <gasps> no. Oops. Okay, little guy. So I knocked him out, so now I can get to him. I just need to get out, because he's guarding the entrance. But I'm hungry enough now that hopefully I can heal myself a little bit. <sighs> I should probably build another gate. I'm too lazy, I'm sorry. Okay, little guy, where are you? <gasps> Nothing. Nothing but nets. Dot net. Ah. <sighs> and it's pretty obviously damaged cell size. Great. Not a fan of that. Put the boat back. Well, I mean, I can probably grade this hill out a little better. All right, fine. I'll just move some dirt. Moving dirt. Moving the meadow slightly towards this side. This should fill in with some grass and look quite nice. Oh, 
Okay. Thing, that's another reason why I don't like creepers. They destroy. Like, those blocks are gone forever. Mm. Uh, it just, like, hurts my soul. Hits me soul. Chinna. Okay. Let's go. Now that the day is half over. Mm. At some point, I should go work on my farming as well. Here, let me just go place these two. Place these as well. Terrier. Yeah, now if I was clever, I would like put up some stakes, build a chute, set some kind of mechanism and then very gently tease this down like a slide and just set it up so precariously so that it does landslide but right to where I want it. But there's a lot of unknowns there. You know, what if the landslide is a little too much or if your things break while you're doing it or break during the landslide. You know, you shoot breaks and then you just have a ton of rocks right where you don't want it. So in reality, Eh, you know, just because it's the most efficient thing doesn't mean it's the safest or the less prone to failures. So, in a survival situation, or I should say in real life when your life depends on it, uh, safety and mitigating risks should generally always take precedent over whether or not it's that much better of an idea for the effort. Like maybe setting up that system would only take a few a few weeks, whereas doing this minutes slowly by hand will take months. It's like, mm, I don't know. Just don't know. Now you could run a test. You know, you could, I could set up a model, or just create like a hybrid system where I do half and half. Oops. But, you know, since all of that is theoretical, I'm only doing so much of this actually in Minecraft, so. Anyways, but there's definitely, there is definitely something inside of me that can't build on gravel, just directly onto gravel. And I'm not gonna put piles in and build it like the Burj Khalifa, like I just, uh, I don't want to have to worry about it or think about it, I just like the solid rock. So just bear with me while I very slowly and in an overdoing type manner remove all of the gravel off this mountain. Gives you really time to think about what you want. What you're really gonna make here when you have to work for it. And when you walk the walk the real ground as it were. So yeah, as far as I'm concerned, this mountain that I'm uncovering from this gravel is the real shape of the mountain, so... Or what's left of it. Should I just sleep out here? Yeah, maybe. Sure, why not? hope it doesn't rain. Wake up in the middle of the night. 
into a rainstorm. Mm. That's something that we kind of take for granted. Not just our shelter, but knowing the weather forecast. Like, within a certain degree of probability, you're like, yeah, no, it's definitely gonna rain. But, like, here in Minecraft, there's no signs. Well, I'm sure there are. I'm sure there's some Easter egg that if you look at how many times the duck waddles. But, really, there's no way to know. This could take all episode. And it will. I mean it would. I should say. It most certainly would. If I did all of it. Or not did all of it, but if I kept working. It would take several episodes, several hours worth of real life work. But I'm not doing all of it. I'll just do the rest of this shovel set. As they say, riveting. But you know, it teaches patience. Or something like that. Something like it. Just contemplation. trying to do this in like a semi-realistic manner so that if I ever, or not if I ever, when I stop actually doing the, doing a section, it still looks, yeah, kind of natural. Certainly that's jarring. Almost there. Stay on target. Almost there. There it is. A bada bing. Oh, first barrel filled. All right. Take the rest of this back. So 
it's already looking pretty bare, barren. So I'm gonna have to do something about that eventually. Oops. Ah. Okay, what? I mean, this goes in here. But, and, and I guess this goes in here. Oh, 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 did I? Oh, psh, there they are. Sorry, I was like looking for those. Okay. <sighs> so, it's off to this way. So, gotta go get my bed. Uh, I'll build tools when I get there. Not quite. Excuse me. Not quite sure exactly what we'll need. Sorry. There we go. Alright. Oh yeah, I'll use that on the way back. But first, let's go ahead and... I'm sure these are dead by now, yeah. Grab that second round of bolstering. Maybe not bolstering. We'll just call it the um, restoration. There we go. I wouldn't say the word minimum, but low effort, per se. There we go. Oh. gonna cut these. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm torn about how much I should make. Well. Whoop. There it is. Excuse me. Okay, I think actually out the front door is the fastest way. I think I also don't have my boat. I don't have a personal boat on me. I'm gonna have to use the supplies. Which is where it should be, you know. No one really actually cares about around them with them, so maybe I'll just call it good. All right, this is not where I want to be. This is too far. Yeah, this is too far. Whoopsie.
Hmm. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what's going on over here, actually. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Oops. There's an ender main. Gotta fill holes. Just little things make life so much better. Hmm. Very odd. Sorry, I'm like looking for something specific, and I guess I'm just wasting time, but. Uh. Yeah. Maybe this isn't as close as I thought it was. Good. Almost a broke leg. Okay. So yeah, this is the one. Let's keep going down until we get to here. I don't know. That was so bizarre. Just exactly how lost I was there. I'm like, where, where is everything? It's because I'm on one whole like section over. This is a whole mountain range between me and where I needed to be. So apologies. Back on track now. So it looks like a lot of just a little bit of dirt removal. But for the most part it's all good. Ah I hate it when that happens. There's a glitch, your pickaxe kind of swings errantly, and next thing you know, you've chipped the statue. Ay. I think I just want to preserve this copper outcropping, at least for now.
also more therapy or not therapy meditation time oh ah there it goes again all right well it is what I need that is true but still Quite a bit of lag, which is weird because there's nothing else going on out here. So, whoops, there we go. Take a couple of these, one of these. All right. Slag. Or I wonder what it is. I, it's probably lag, but it could be late. 